Pardon me for always looking at my computer. I'm really not playing video games on the air today. <laughs> um, uh, I just have to keep looking off screen to see what the uh, who the next caller is. And it looks like Dan has called back, and he's used the Google oh. and discovered that there is some proof that God exists. Okay. On, on Google, no less. Who would have thought that? Dan? Yeah, I thought that I would apply your guys the same idea to you. That you okay. said to me yeah. is I Googled proof of God because yeah. that's more interesting than the lies on the atheist website. <laughs> and I, yes. And I, and I, by the way, I don't appreciate being hung up on when I'm trying to have a conversation with you. It's very dishonest of you. Okay. I know it. And I, I want to say. We are trying to do a show here and, you know, give everybody a chance to talk. Go on. Well, I wanted to say that the, the evidence that I found is that According to allaboutcreation.org, the E. coli bacterial flagellum is irreducibly complex. Do you know what that means? It means yes. that that website <laughs> is perpetuating a, a uh, falsehood that was, was addressed invented in the... by Michael Behe and oh, dealt with in the Kitzmiller versus Dover yeah, case, theory. which basically laughed Behe out of court, almost. Yeah, yeah that, that... theory by the Christians, right? Uh, but... Help, there's proof of God on my head. I don't, I don't know about conspiracy theory. I don't think I'd take it that far. But there are people who are spinning this, this nonsense that the bacterial flagellum, flagellum could not have evolved. And they it, used that as an argument why it ought to be okay to, uh, to teach creationism in public schools. Yeah, uh, trying to really say that that's argue. evidence of creationism. And, uh, and that was... that argument was trotted out in the Dover, Pennsylvania uh, uh, evolution trial, Kitzmiller no, versus... Yeah, right. That was in uh, 2005? And, and, and the, the creationists <coughs> that trotted that out got laughed out of court. Yeah, basically Michael right, Behe right, said, right, Michael right, Behe went judge. up in front of the judge and he said, uh, there has been no papers written on the topic of how the flagellum could have evolved, at which point the uh, opposing lawyer in a bit of courtroom theater walked in with this giant stack of like 20-something books and dropped it on the table in front of Behe and said, have you read these by any chance? And Behe when said, no, that? I haven't gotten around to them. Yeah. When was that? 2005, Kitz Miller versus Dover, well, K-I-T-Z-M-I-L-L-E-R. That, that was that long ago, and they already proved that it wasn't right. That why would allaboutcreation.org have that still on their on their main page? Proof what a softball God. question! Because the people who run creation, what was it? Allaboutcreation.org all are idiots who don't care about the truth. Is why. That will. You're just saying that because you disagree, and if, if anyone disagrees no, no. with you... No, 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 we're not just... That, Dan, we're not just saying it because we disagree. We're saying it because that argument has been proved to be false, but there it is on that website. Now, I guess it's You're also right. possible they're simply not maintaining the site. It might be that they're not fools or liars. It could be that they just, you know, ran out of money or lost interest and they're not maintaining their site and it's old information that hasn't been updated. That's possible. Well, it is, you do find sometimes... I'm sorry? The site was updated, no, in 2009 the site was updated, so... Oh, okay. Fools or liars it. then, I'm sorry. That, that is just an inescapable consequence of having a disproved claim still on their website. Well, you know, there's it's not just because we disagree. There. There's intelligent design. There's proofs from nature and stuff. Maybe you yeah. Google proof that there's a god, and then you should come back tomorrow and be like, "Sorry, I was wrong." <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't be on the air tomorrow. But if you, know, you would like to call back next week, with we, your we are the guys group. who have known how to Google Google all along, and <laughs> we've been all over. Like more arguments uh, uh, for God's existence and for the proof of creationism and and, uh, and everything else that you could possibly imagine. We've been at Have this for I've been at this for God. over ten years, dude. And I'm just telling you, that I've was like seen a couple years after you. Right? I've seen <laughs> I have seen, you know, squillions of different <laughs> arguments for God, and they all fall down. 
and I've looked seriously. I don't mind believing in a God if there's evidence that there is one, but there's not. I'm sorry? You do you do have a problem with believing in God because if there were, if there were if there's a God then you can't go around sinning all the time and just feel just fine about it. That would be is fine. that is that what you would do if you didn't think there was a God? Is that yeah, the kind if of per for reason not to sin? Then I just go around and like do whatever I want and like gamble and curse and so you don't and, and whatever else I want. Do so you don't care about the con actual consequences of your actions in the real world? You are you, the only reason that you don't do bad things. Hey, uh, yeah, caller, yeah, the only reason you don't right. do bad things is because of God. Is that yeah, really true? Right. Then, there, then the universe will eventually wind down to a heat death, and that means that nothing I will have ever done will ever matter, and I can just do whatever I want because nothing will matter at the point of the end of the universe. And what you really want to do is a bunch of bad things. Bad things that make me feel good. I don't care about if, if nobody else matters, and I don't care about what makes okay. them feel good. Yeah. So nobody else, so nobody else matters to you. If uh, nobody else matters, like the no, no, to you. We're yeah. out of time. You're going to have to call back next week. In the meantime, I've know. been forgetting to plug this, but come to Thread Gills after the show if and you hang want. out with us if you want to. <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, bye, because <laughs> there's the ending screen. We're out of time. Bye. <laughs>